executive first response to PPH is the topic of our discussion today. We will talk about eMotive Implantation Project PPH Bundle to Enhance Guideline Adherence and Improve Maternal Outcomes. PPH Community of Practice in July 2020 included Professor Sullen Miller, University of California. Also, there is contribution of these organizations. The background is from WHO PPH Bundle Development. In 2016, Lancet Maternal Health Series raised the question why despite technology interventions, increased facility births, published guidelines for too many women still dying from pregnancy and births. Every woman, every newborn, everywhere has the right to good quality health care. Too little, too late, too much, too soon. Resulted in lack of dignity and respect in childbirth lack of early recognition and early action for complications or delays, lack of adherence to evidence-based care promulgated in the guidelines. In 2018, WHO and Bill and Melinda Gate Foundation asked the questions, would a PPH bundle comprised of evidence-based technologies and strategies improve guidelines, adherence and improve outcomes? What interventions would be included in a PPH bundle? Bill and Melinda Gate Foundation, WHO, University of California and San Francisco, MGH, International Credential Evaluation Service, put forward a Delphi consultation on PPH interventions for PPH bundle. What is Clinical Care Bundle? Institute for Healthcare Improvement definition was that small set of evidence-based intervention for a defined patient population and care setting that when implemented together result in significantly better outcomes than when implemented individually. Bundling care improves quality of the care and efficiency of the care delivery. There is emphasis not only on clinical activities but also teamwork, communication and cooperation. According to 2018 WHO Technical Consultation on PPH Bundles, primary response bundle included IV fluids, massage of the uterus, uterotonic medication, transexamic acid if less than 3 hours post-delivery. If the above with 2 doses of uterotonics and transexamic acid didn't arrest bleeding, move on or escalate to refractory bundle. In 2019, Bill and Melinda Gate Foundation request for proposal for PPH bundle implantation project included response was collaboration that became the emotive project designed to address challenges to implementation and adherence to evidence-based PPH guidelines by using bundle approach. What were the challenges and solutions of implementing PPH guidelines? The challenge number one was delay in detecting PPH life-saving treatment is not promptly initiated. Solution was early detection and treatment of PPH. Challenge number two was delayed or inconsistent use of intervention for PPH management, which included late, delayed or non-use of transexamic acid, inconsistent application of uterine massage and IV fluids. The solution was the bundle, the emotive bundle. Challenge number three, many healthcare providers do not follow PPH guidelines. The solution was implementation strategy targeting capabilities, opportunities and motivations for behavior changes that is COMB. This challenge demonstrated barriers to bundle implementation. It also proposed implementation strategies to address barriers to bundle implementation. There were lack of capabilities like lack of knowledge and skills, lack of qualified staff, lack of self-efficacy, inappropriate expectations. And the solution was simulated based team learning at each site, deliberate skills practice and repeated refresher training facilitated by designated peers. With respect to motivation, the barrier was lack of engagement or buy-in of staff or management, lack of leadership or champions, fear of reprisals and lack of awareness. The solution was introduction of local emotive champions who encourage, support and model bundle use. Introduction of calibrated drapes with the trigger lines to increase motivation for bundle use and actionable data feedback to providers. 
With respect to opportunity, the problems were physical means workload and workflow inefficiencies and difficulty to access to resources and the social barrier was lack of teamwork and communication. The solution for physical problems were facilitated workflow through introduction of motive emergency kits with all bundle components enabling easy and timely access to commodities and the social means peer assisted learning and champions. Combi included framework for implementation that demonstrated barriers to bundle implementation. So there were proposed implementation strategies to address barriers to bundle implementation. And I have already explained this whole framework which included barriers regarding capability, motivation and opportunity. And there were some Im uh, proposed implementation strategies which are written here. So here we have e-motive program project outlines. When there was COVID-19, there was trial set up in the sites like Kenya, Tanzania, Nigeria, South Africa and Sri Lanka. The research questions were, how is PPH currently detected and managed? What are the individual, socio-cultural and environmental influences on PPH detection and management? What are the potential barriers and enablers to implementing the emotive care bundle. The main theoretical approach was understanding and explaining what influences implementation outcomes, assess the barriers and or facilitators related to implementing the interventions, inform development of implementation strategies, co-interventions to overcome the barriers or enablers. The formative research or methods were 10 to 15 IDIs per country with the healthcare providers on current practice, barriers, opportunities to implementation of PPH guidelines. There were 800 surveys online. The existing evidence included systematic review of Cochrane guidelines. There was qualitative evidence synthesis. The emotive bundle project included pre-intervention, interventions, and post-intervention. The co-design of emotive bundle implementation strategy will involve these stages. Triangulation of findings across the data sources by the research team. Report back findings to the country teams. Stakeholder consultation workshops to refine and adopt the implementation strategy to each country's local context. The implementation strategies tested in adopted cycles include trialing the strategy, non-study facilities, obtaining feedback around outcomes, course correction and adaptation, repeat cycle, non-study facilities, finalized the strategy. The training included bleeding after birth training package adopted for emotive bundle. That included helping mothers survive bleeding after birth complete provider guide. The emotive intervention parallel cluster randomized trial in included the pre-interventions, which included primary qualitative research, quantitative survey, existing evidence, qualitative evidence census, the logic model, the co-design, adopted cycles, the interventions included co uh, process evaluation by parallel cluster randomized trials and the post-intervention included revised logic models, updated WHO guidelines. So the bundle trial, randomized cluster trial that is PICO included multi-country parallel cluster randomization trial with a baseline control phase along with mixed methods and health economic evaluations. The PICO meant population interventions and comparator. The outcomes were primary and secondary. The primary included composite severe PPH blood loss of more than 1000 ml or PPH postpartum laparotomy or bleeding or postpartum maternal death from bleeding. Secondary interventions included implementation adherence, resource use plus clinical outcomes such as blood transfusion, uterine tamponade, intensive care unit admissions or higher level facility transfer and the newborn deaths. Now this was the sample size. This sample size gives over 90% power at 
5% significance to detect a 25% relative reduction in the composite primary outcome from 2% to 1.5%. So what was the progress? These are the countries visited. 80 health facilities were selected. First version of the main trial protocol, formative protocol and concept foundation protocol finalized. Ethical approval was granted by University of Birmingham, University of Melbourne and Nigeria. What was the progress and next steps? Study coordinators and data managers hired or being hired. There were formative mixed method research COVID-19 has and may further impact the dates. The conclusion was ambitious sample size based on anticipated number of the birds 80 cluster with 2300 birds per annum and 6800 pph cases so thank you so much that was a little bit about emotive bundle approach subscribe on ops and guiding allah hafiz